I frequently receive a question from classmates. Does the mean of an AR process have to be zero? The answer is no, it doesn't have to be zero. So how should we write an AR equation if the mean equals to zero or it doesn't equal to zero? Let's talk about this question here. I want to use letter mu to represent the mean of an AR process. Let's take a look at uh, how should we write an AR process when mu equal to zero. In this lecture, I want to use AR1 as an example. AR2, AR3, and ARP are similar to AR1 process I show you here. When mu equals to zero, then we should write the AR1 like this. Xt, which is the current value in the time series, equals to phi1 times xt minus 1 plus epsilon t. Epsilon t is the error term of the time series. When mu is not equal to 0, we should write an AR process like this. Xt minus mu equals to phi1 times parentheses xt minus 1 and then minus mu and then parentheses. You see, when mu is not equal to 0, then when I write the equation, I have to use xt minus 1 minus mu as well. And then at the end, we have uh, the epsilon t component. This example shows that mu equals to zero is just a special case of uh, mu is not equal to zero, right? When mu equals to zero, let's take a look at this equation. When mu equals to zero, we actually use uh, xt minus zero on the left side. But when we minus zero, it's still the same thing. That's why we have xt. Here, we use xt minus one minus zero. But again, when we minus a zero, it's still xt minus one. As you can see, mu equals to zero is a special case of uh, when mu is not equal to zero. So what if when mu is not equal to zero, I want to write a AR2 process. What should I do? This is how you write it, AR2. On the left side, we still have a xt minus mu equals to phi1 times xt minus 1 minus mu again, parentheses, and then phi2. Let me move my pen around so I can write the second component. Parentheses xt minus 2 minus mu parentheses and then epsilon t. As you can see, when you have more orders, you just use the additional order minus mu. So some classmates may have a question, why do we always have to minus mu on both sides? The reason is, do you still remember the uh, stationary assumption of an uh, AR process? A stationary process has a constant mean. That assumption doesn't say the mean has to be zero, but uh, we do have to follow that assumption. We need to subtract uh, the constant mean from both sides. This is how we write uh, an AR process in a mathematical equation. I will put the, the equations in a formal format and then upload the, the PowerPoint to this video's description section.